Today on Mike Attempts, replacing cultivator fuel lines. I was using the dethatcher attachment on my cultivator and it suddenly shut off. It had plenty of gas but wouldn't start back up. When I pressed the primer bulb, I noticed it wasn't sucking any fuel out of the tank. If I tilt it back so fuel covers where the lines enter the tank, the primer bulb works. Sure enough, the return line has fallen completely off and the pickup line isn't hanging on by much. I was able to pull it out with little effort. The lines only seem to be falling apart where they enter the tank, which is where they flex the most. About a quarter inch of each line is disintegrated. Any chunk crumbles when touched. I removed the tank cover, and then the tank. I drained and cleaned the fuel tank, then removed the old fuel lines from the carburetor. This cultivator is only a year old, so I opened up a chat with them online and they sent me a new fuel line kit. It was super quick and easy. However, they sent me the same exact brand of line, so I knew it wouldn't last. I picked up some Oregon line with an inside diameter of 1 8 inch and an outside diameter of 1 4 inch. This line is supposed to be able to handle the ethanol and gas. Yeah, I could try to find some ethanol free gas, but I prefer just using higher quality fuel lines. I cut the new line at an angle to make it easier to insert. Once I pulled enough through, I cut it straight and inserted the fuel filter. I've only used this machine about five or six times, so the old filter was still good. The return line only needs to go a couple inches into the tank. I trimmed the lines to the proper length, Reinstalled the tank. Attached the lines to the carb. And reinstalled the tank cover. Time to test it out. Prime's good. and runs as expected. Feel free to rate this video, add your comments and questions below, and subscribe for more.